Dick's Wall Engines. Now in this little episode we're going to have a butcher's at setting the clearances on your intake and exhaust valves. Remember previously we've lapped the valves. Still a bit of work to do on the exhaust and intake clearing there but we've reseated the valves after lapping them so we're going to have a butcher's at how to check the valve clearances or valve lash on this engine. So now what you want to do is get the piston to top dead centre on the compression stroke and back it off approximately a quarter of an inch. And uh, then we'll be able to set our valve clearances. So exhaust port is currently up. So we'll crank around. So, so as the intake valve raises, this will now be top dead centre on the compression stroke, like so. So top dead centre on the compression stroke, intake valve raised, piston's now top dead centre, so on, that is now top dead centre on the compression stroke. So now what we'll want to do is back that off. Get the old calipers, like so. Now, according to Briggs, in order to do this, we want to be a quarter of an inch off top dead centre. So if I set my calipers up now, if they'll play ball, let's turn them on. Which they're now on. So we want to be a quarter of an inch so just to confirm, we are at a quarter of an inch. Now what we'll do now is we'll I'll seat. Try and do this with one hand, two hands. So would help. We'll seat. That's about there, so as you've got the piston up, touching the little tab here. The side of the calipers here are sitting on where the head gasket sits. We are at a quarter of an inch. So I'm happy with that. Right, intake. Where are we? Intake here is approximately five to seven thou of an inch in this position, I believe. An exhaust valve is, uh, let me get this right, nine to 11 on this particular engine. So, Right, so now we're set. It's our set of fairly gauges. Got this one at six foul for our intake. All you want to do is snug it in between your tap it and your valve stem on your intake. That's nice and snug. Bit of resistance there, which is what we want. So that valve is set nicely and our exhaust we're looking at between 9 and 11 foul so we've got the 9 foul feeler gauge snug it in again between our valve stem and our tappet which obviously the tappet set Tap it situated in our sump, and as you can hear, there's a bit of resistance there, which is what we want. So I'm happy with that valve clearance on that. It's important to note as well. 
happen more it's hard your sump has to be in situ in order to check the valve clearance also your valves have to be in situ and seated you obviously can't have your valve retainers or valve keepers removed because you're not going to get an accurate uh, reading off of your um, feeler gauge so and all, another thing to add although these are set as they should be if they weren't you've seen the previous video which there'll be a link now coming up about lapping your valves if they're not seated correctly your valves need to be lapped so they're seated correctly also if the valves aren't adjusted correctly your valves will have to be removed and um you may need to uh grind a bit a lot bit off of the valve stem um failing that no valves uh will need to be installed but apart from that very simple very easy how to check your valve clearance or your valve lash on a bridge flathead engine horizontal shaft engine uh, if you enjoyed this little episode of dick small engines leave give us a like share and subscribe till next one take care try for now